Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm excited to showcase a new retouching software created by Luminar with the input from one of my favorite photographers, Julia Trotti. Uh, Julia's portrait style and editing approach align closely with mine, so I was thrilled when Luminar uh, reached out to offer me a chance to try this software Aperty. Skin retouching used to be a skill that took hours to learn and perfect. I remember using a Wacom tablet and spending countless hours on techniques like dodging and burning, always wishing for a tool that could make the process faster and easier. And thankfully today we have options. And in today's video, we're going to be focusing on Aperty, the retouching software. A special thanks goes out to Aperty for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to try this software out. Why don't we just go ahead and get started? I'm gonna show you how I would use Aperty for retouching portraits. I just wanted to start off, it's an extreme case to show you guys the capabilities of Aperty. This is just a stock photo that I got off the internet. And this is where you're gonna see uh, Aperty do, do its thing. So this is the blemish removal right here. And you know, she does have a lot, this woman has, does have a lot of blemishes. So we're going to see in um, extreme cases what this, what this software can do. So I want to put it up to 100 to see what this thing can do, the software can do. And boom, it cleaned up a lot. Let's check it out. Before, after, before, after. It's not bad so far. Everything looks natural. Let's look at the details here before after still retains all of its detail which is really good the other blemish is uh Aperty thinks it's freckles so when you do that it removes the remainder of it all away before after before after and it cleaned up a lot do you want some of the details see details and then it brings back all the details no details so you want some details when you're skin retouching you don't want everything to be too smooth you you want that texture and that detail because it will look more real as opposed to no details at all where everything just looks really smooth and it looks weird. So let's go 50%. Skin smoothing is just an extra layer of skin smoothing. Let's see where it's at right now. Go to 100. Before, after, before, after. And it just smooths everything over. And I don't really like this look right now because it looks too smooth for my taste. So we're gonna dial it back, uh, maybe 30%. Let's see how 30% look. With uh, retouching skin, I always say it, a little bit goes a long way. So you just gotta be subtle with your moves. You don't wanna do huge changes. All right, I'm gonna leave it at 30. Face color correction, dark circles. She does have a little bit of dark circles, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that. And if you go 100, you start you start to see that um, the retouching software actually removed the eyelids, and we want the eyelids because it looks natural, right? So we're just gonna dial it back, dialing it back until it looks a little bit more natural. Before, oh, see that looks better. I'm gonna leave it at I'm gonna leave it at 50. All of that. Let's see. Before, after, before, after, boom. It looks better already. If you ever feel like, you know, the face is a little bit underexposed, you can just brighten up a little bit. But I'm just going to keep it uh, the way it is because it looks natural already. You don't need to brighten up anymore. But there is shine removal. I want to move, remove some of, the, some of that shine right there. Let's see if it picks it up. And it does. And it does. Oh, see, so it got rid of the highlight here and the highlight here if you go to the extreme. So we'll, again, just dial it back. You don't want to, you don't want to do too much. Let's see. Before, after, before, after. Yep, this is cool. You can do an iris flare again, 100. Make it look drastic. Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> oh man. Again, just natural, subtle, subtle changes. That looks better, let me see. We'll leave it at that. And if you want, you can change the iris around. Blue, brown, green. But I rather it just be, again, just natural or with the natural iris. So we're going to leave it here. I think, I think 64, 60, 64 looks good for the iris. Just a little bit of uh, popping our flare in the iris. We don't need to remove any redness because she doesn't have any redness. Uh, there's eye whitening if you want to make the eyes a little bit whiter. Now that just looks too much for my taste. So again, 
Everything has to be subtle for me. And for teeth whitening and brightening, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, makeup, I don't, I tend to stay away from this. I'll, I'll, I'll just put a little bit, I'll just put like nine or something. Just for your y'all sake. So contouring and highlighting. So this is what I've, I've done a lot previously uh, with the Wacom tablet and just by hand. Uh, it's called dodging and burning where, you know, basically contour uh, a person's face. It's so tedious to do. Like every time I've I've been editing and try, try to do dodging and burning on, on the face, it takes me like 20, 30 minutes just by hand, just to like do strokes and just like dodge this area, contour this area, bright and highlight the, the forehead and all that. It was very, very time consuming. Just think about it. Like if you have like 20 photos to do, 20 times 30 minutes is a lot of time. A lot, a lot of time. So we don't want to be doing that. We we rather be out shooting or, you know, doing other things. We don't want to be spending all that time editing 20 photos. You waste too much time. Uh, right here. And as you can see already, the software did a pretty good job at just contouring the face. So it contours the cheekbones to give you a more sculpted look and also does the bridge of the nose to give you that. Dial it back a little bit is what I would do. And I would probably feather it out too. You don't want uh, you don't want it to be that obvious that you've done it. And the same goes for the highlights. You see where the highlights are? It, it highlights the cheeks and then the, the cheekbones here, then the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, the bottom of the lip, and the forehead. And that's, that's exactly how I would dodge a bird. So you have AI software that just does it for you entirely. And the, it was just like, just pushing a slider, which is freaking amazing. <laughs> uh, for this one, I'm probably going to go like 23 and I want to feather it out. Everything's just feathering it out. And let's see. Before, after, before, after. And you can see the before she wasn't so sculpted. But then once you contour the face and stuff, uh, it actually sculpted the face. It gives it more of a dimension. Yeah, we don't have to worry about this. I don't. I don't touch eyeliners or eyebrows. I don't touch eyeliners or lip saturation or anything like that. You can, but I'm just gonna leave eyeliner by itself. And if you want to enhance the eyebrows, you can. Now that's just gonna make it dark. And again, these are things that you can do to make your portrait more captivating, so that you draw the viewer's attention to you know the eyebrows, the eyes, or whatever it is. So if you want you can darken the eyebrows and give it some clarity i'm pretty sure that's what it does or just again just a little bit a little bit goes a long way and this is the before and this is the after which is freaking amazing <laughs> it doesn't look bad i actually like it. it looks pretty natural but obviously you know there are still some work that you need to do like you know get some of these uh, neck blemishes right here and some right here and a little bit right here. You can also like, you know, make the face smaller and stuff, but you don't want to do that. You want, you just want to keep things natural. So if you want to use it, just use it, uh, at your discretion. But I, I, I try to like, I like to keep things natural. There's, if there's one thing that I would want Aperty to add. It's probably like before and after for contour and highlights, just so that we have more control uh, in what we see. Like I want to see, uh, I want to see how much contour I put in. But then if I if I turn it on and off here, it um, it adds in all of this as well, like you know the blush and all that. So uh, if we have the uh, the controls for uh, contour and highlight, that'd be great. And it goes the same. For these ones as well, you know, like dark circle removals, like let's just say I want to just to see that alone. I don't want to see this. I don't want to pull it all in with the skin smoothing and the shine removal and all that. So that's one. And another thing is, you see with this person right here, she has a lot of stray hairs coming out. I would like Aperty to add a stray hair removal. Uh, I think that's totally a game changer, especially for like portrait photographers, um, you know, work, you know, shooting outside when it's windy or like, you know, sometimes a model's hair doesn't like, you know, play well with the weather that you're having at the shoot, right? So you want all these tools there. Like, I don't want to have to go in and manually uh, remove all the stray hair. So something like that on Aperty would, would be sick. So just a suggestion for you, Aperty. All right, let's go with, let's go through this one. 
and uh, this is with the beautiful Tatiana. And you can see there's there's some blemishes that she has, so we're gonna remove that. Boom, gone. That was quick. I love it. And then for skin smoothing, I don't think you really need to do any skin smoothing. Her skin looks really good already. Dark circles. There's no dark circles here. Um, white. No, nothing here. Teeth whitening. None. What I want to do is contour the face a little bit more because again, there's just so much area right here. Uh, we can we can darken this a little bit by using that. Oh, there it is. Boom, boom. That looks a lot better. You see how, you see how her face is just sculpted now? Before, after. It's a little bit more dimension because of the contouring. And this is why um, contouring is so uh, important because it gives you dimension on your face. It gives you that 3D look. Maybe add a little bit of highlight, maybe? Let me see. Uh, there's there's a lot of highlights in her number, but maybe not. And uh, for this shot, I, I feel like it's a little bit uh, overexposed because of, again, the, the, the sun was just blasting her the entire time. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and just pull down the exposure a little bit. I'm going to do that with the curves, adjust with the curves right here. Uh, just pull it back so I can get some contrast into her face. And that looks good to me. And I think I'm just about done. Yeah, that was it. Let's see, the before and after, before, after, before, after. And again, this software was so quick. Something like this, again, contouring and all that, brightening up the face, takes me like 20, 30 minutes. You just seen that done in like, maybe like a minute or two in real time. So this is quite impressive. I'm really impressed with Aperty skin retouching. And I wanna do one more with Tatiana. This one's a little bit harder because of, you know, the, the stray hairs. And this is where I wish Aperty had stray hair so that we can clean all this up. It would, be, it would be nice. So for this one, we're going to go into blemish removals because I she does have a few blemishes right here. So why don't we go ahead and do that. There we go. That looks good. Remove the blemishes. And then her skin looks freaking amazing already. We don't need to do much skin smoothing. But if you want to give it a more polished look, you can just turn it up again adjust everything to taste that's just my philosophy just adjust everything to taste and we're gonna move to dark circles and she doesn't really have uh dark circles that much though we don't have nothing to worry about there's a little bit of shine so let's see what we can do with this do we need brighter face nope nope we don't need we don't need to touch that and again if you want to like you know give someone an iris flare or whatever you can do that. That looks very, very trippy. But yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. Okay, we got to remove some redness. Eye whitening. Don't have to worry about this. And let's check out the contouring. See if it can do a good job with all the stray hair coming in. And you see that? Sculpted her face. Sculpted her face. That's quite impressive. Let's see what it could do. Before, after, before, after. This contour and highlight thing is a very powerful, powerful tool. And uh, this is where I'm going to be living. If I were to skin retouch, this is all, this is what you guys need to do. Just dodging and burning so you can sculpt the person's face. Look at how sculpted that face is with when she like darkened that area. That's freaking amazing, man. Holy crap. <laughs> Eyebrows enhancement. Lip saturation, yeah. And if you want, you can make the face slim. Again, I wouldn't touch this, but if you want, you can. And make your eyes go big, like, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> but I'm gonna end it off here because I showed you like many examples already. It's crazy how good this uh, software is. And that's how I would skin retouch using Aperty. It's quick and easy. It's so quick that I did it with a few sliders. You don't need to be heat. retouching skin anymore. You can use that time you save on other things like, you know, take more photos, do other uh, focus on other aspects of photography, or even learning a different 
learning something different with that time being saved, you know? For me, that's such a game changer with skin retouching software is like Aperity right here. It just saves me so much time that I can use that time to do other things that I want to do. If you guys are interested in Aperity, I'll leave the links to it down in the description below. But yeah, thanks so much.